This is one of the scenarios at the care course in Vegerville. <sighs> Buck is suffering from chest injuries after falling off his horse. Can we get you to lay on your back a little bit? Teams of physicians, nurses, and paramedics must decide on the best treatment. The two-day hands-on course is being held at Covenant Health's St. Joseph General Hospital. In all, 20 health professionals who work in emergency are attending. They may have no pulse because they don't have enough sugar to make their myocardium do this. The CARE course focuses on comprehensive rural emergency care. It's led by rural health care providers, so they know firsthand the challenges of working in a rural emergency department. So Heart rate's 84 right now. So she filled med these medications yesterday. She and Everyone is working in teams with the same health professionals they will be alongside in actual emergencies. Core theme is, is building community. So coming into rural communities, bringing together the paramedics, the nurses and the physicians, uh, actually getting them laughing together, working together. The CARE course recommends teams periodically take 20 second breaks to review how the critically ill patient is being treated. Everyone is encouraged to make suggestions. As a nurse, I'm a very valuable member of the team and sometimes I notice things that maybe a doctor or a paramedic won't notice, so it's important to speak up. During portions of the course, attendees work individually on skills such as airway management. The intensive two-day course is designed to boost the confidence of emergency teams. In rural, we don't see as many heart attacks as they would see in a city or, or deliveries or pneumothoraxes. It's things that you want to get confident to do and, and not doubt yourself when you get into that situation. And this gives you the reassurance that you actually know how to do it. Anybody that comes to us, we need to have that confidence and have the knowledge of what we need to do to get this done. And when care costs come, it put all of us together, paramedics, nurses, doctors, so we know how we work in a real situation, what your job will be, what my job will be. The best station of the afternoon. Yeah. RPAP contributed $5,000 towards the cost of holding the care course in Vegerville. RPAP was so gracious as to be that support for us. For more information on RPAP funding for continuing professional development, go to rpap.ca backslash cpd. Shock delivered. RPAP recognizes that training opportunities like this one are a valuable tool in retaining healthcare providers in rural communities. Often if somebody leaves a rural community, if you look behind that, very often it was because of a challenging experience in the emergency department. And if we can change that with A, them emergency medicine skills, but more the teamwork and support around that, then those people are more likely to stay in the community.